So could that be interrupted by what's taking place yeah. in Ukraine? I mean, what are some of the bigger risks now, and, and, and do you feel it in business? This is the, the highest risk which we can feel now in this moment because this is geopolitical uh, risk. Uh, and um, this is something which is happening behind the border. And um, for us, uh, uh, as a country which is fully dependent uh, on, on Russia, uh, talk, I'm talking now about the uh, oil uh, reserves and about the gas flow. So, so this is very important for us. And so we are the part of the world, we are the part of Eurozone, so we have to influence also this development. I mean, you, you recently made a deal with uh, Ukraine where you send yeah. some gas from west to east instead of being the recipient of the gas coming yeah. through Ukraine. Does, does that kind of put you in a position where you almost are you're kind of in between what's taking place between Russia and Ukraine? Looking at our history, we were always somewhere in between, <laughs> so this is our destiny. Um, yeah, yeah, that's true that uh, just last month we signed a memorandum with the Ukraine, Ukraine uh, government on so-called reverse flow of, of gas. Uh, so it means because we used to, uh, to pump the, the, the gas from Russia via Ukraine to, to Western countries. So the Slovak Republic used to be the transit country. This is also the resource of, of our uh, earnings and, uh, and the profit because our gas company uh, has huge um, the profit which is coming from this from from this flow of gas. So now in this moment uh, uh, we are somewhere in the middle. So we have to also negotiate uh, negotiate with Gazprom. Uh, we have to be very cautious about our, our uh, needs. I, I mean the needs of our, of our economy. It's also important. So we are preparing for the winter. It will be very interesting.